It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. So this week's tool, well, it's not really a tool, and this could actually fit in the category of, man, that's cool. The other thing I do, kind of. So I've had a lot of people asking me how I keep the bibster from rusting. You guys know in past videos, I've used Shark Eyed, I've used uh, Eastwood's Diamond Clear, and those are more permanent solutions to keep bare metal bare. It's not a temporary solution. It's not something that you wanna have to go back and clean off. So, right now, because I'm still working on this thing, I don't wanna put anything that's permanent on it. So this week's tool is Dry Coat. So this week's tool is Dry Coat by Workshop Hero. So this is a temporary coating to keep whatever it is you're working on from rusting. You can use it on a welding table. You can use it on machinery. And when it's time to take it off, a little soapy water washes the stuff right off. Then you can paint or coat whatever it is you want to do. You want to coat. So you can kind of see in some of these spots, you can actually see the film where I've wiped it on. So it kind of takes away from the look just a little bit but it keeps it from rusting, so it's always a good thing. And it doesn't have any kind of tackiness, doesn't, you can't really feel it, you can just kind of see the difference, I guess. So anyway, very good solution to keep stuff from rusting. And then when I get ready, when I'm finally ready to coat this, some soapy water, I can wash it all off, I'll probably re-scuff it and then yeah. There you go, this week's tool dry coat. I'll drop you some links in the description as I always do. You can go check it out for yourself. Maybe it's something you can use, I don't know. Rust prevention, rust preventative. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.